In this lecture, we will learn how to draw the gable end of the PB shear. So, the, our input is that we need to model these 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 columns uh, in the middle and 2 columns on the end. So, what we need to do here is, and plus one more thing you need to see here is that on the gable end, as the forces are very less, so we can go for this uniform depth section also. So let us say we take the depth of this section as 750 mm. Uh, why we are taking uniform depth here is that because we are uh, uh, getting continuously supports here. After every 6 meter or 7 meter we are getting supports. So what we can do is that we can go to our ETABS model. We can select this frame here. I am rotating this view by clicking shift key on the keyboard plus scroll wheel on the mouse. Go to edit, replicate, linear dy we need to enter it as 7.242 as the distance between the frames was 7.667 initially now we need to set it as 7.242 so enter here is 7.242 here and uh, we need to enter plus here because we need to go in the direction of y Here you can see that it is showing the preview. So left click on apply and then OK. So here we have copied a PB portal frame for the gable end section. Now when what we need to do is that we can delete this these beams. Just press and uh, delete option on the keyboard. Go to draw, draw beam and draw beam column base here. Select the property as member one low depth 750 mm. Draw beam from this point to this point. Go to select object. Now, in our drawing, the distances are 6 meter, 7 meter and 7 meter. So we need to draw a joint here that is first joint shall be at 6 meter and then the next two joints shall be at 7 meter. Go to edit, copy and edit. edit copy and edit paste first of all we enter delta x as 6 meter left click on ok and then we again need to do the same action delta x as 7 meter so now to draw the gable and columns what we need to do here is that we need to select this joint again go to edit copy and edit paste Enter the delta Z as let us say 7 meter. Left click on OK. So now we have a vertical joint above the supporting joint. So we can go to draw, draw beam column brace and draw beam column brace. Let us say we enter the column of column 350 depth here draw a column from this point to this point right click here and then go to select object and select both the this column as well as this rafter go to edit edit frames and divide frames 
left click on break at, break at intersection with selected frames and joint left click on apply and then ok select this extended column here and then press delete on your keyboard similarly delete this joint so here now we have a column gable and column and a rafter that is supported by this column similarly we can do the same procedure here press ctrl c ctrl v on your keyboard enter delta z as 9 left click on ok go to draw draw beam column brace enter the column of 350 depth draw a column from this point to this point go to edit edit frames divide frames break and intersection with selected frames from object left click on ok just delete this extended column so now we have drawn a one gable end side similarly we can save our work by going to edit replicate radio center we can set it, set it as this joint angle 180 left click on apply and then ok so now we have drawn one gable end side similarly we need to draw a gable end side here so either we can do the same procedure like here like we can select this portal and we can copy that and we can do all the same things here or what we, we can do is that we can select just select this portal and copy this on the desired coordinate so if we want to calculate the how much distance should we copy so the, uh, the distance between this grid 1 and grid 13 is basically 91.15 meter so what we need to do here is that we need to select this gable and portal just press ctrl c ctrl v on a keyboard and enter delta y as minus 91.15 left click on ok so now we have drawn gable ends on both the parts but we need to connect the gable end and middle structure so we need to go to draw draw beam column brace select the section as ISMC 300 and then connect the frames sometimes it do happens that the cursor will not slap a joint so you need to press the shift key on a keyboard and rotate the view and then you can see now that it is snapping Save this model, go to view and show rendered view. So here you can see that you have drawn a full fledged 3D PB model. One thing that is missing is plan basing and elevation basing that we will discuss in the next lecture.